Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News update. Here's what's making news now. Police in Scott County are searching for a suspect after a man is attacked and stabbed during a home invasion robbery early this morning. Georgetown police have asked for help from Lexington police as officers look for that suspect. This all began around 2.30 at a home on Mallory Lane off Seminole Trail. Police say they'd been at the home about an hour earlier, responding to a burglar alarm that went off, but didn't find anything. After police left, the man who lives there was lo locked his uh, back door, was in the process of locking his back door, when another man attacked and stabbed him in the stomach. That man was rushed to an area hospital. No word this morning on his condition. The investigation continues this morning after a second set of human remains are found in the Pulaski County woods while searching the site where the body of 21-year-old Kevin Price was found Saturday. Police found fragments that Kentucky forensic anthropologists eventually decided came from another body. I mean, it's incredibly small, and I've already filtered through at least a thousand bone fragments separating the two individuals. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Department has not released the cause of death for Kevin Price or said if there are any suspects. People in one Lexington neighborhood are fed up after burglars steal thousands of dollars worth of items in just the past few months. ABC 36's Kate Slattery has more. They have to go to work order. We're supposed to sit at home all day and protect our homes. We can't do that. Teresa Euler is hiding her Christmas presents behind her tree, not to keep her own kids from seeing them, but to keep thieves from stealing them. You can't leave anything in your vehicles, can't leave anything out in front of your house, and this is not the kind of neighborhood that you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Euler says they have yet to break into her home, but her neighbors across the street have been hit not once, but twice. There's been uh, money stolen. Out of, um, out of our household while we were here. Butch and Paula Fain say the second time the kids broke in through this back window. They've taken uh, an Xbox 360, uh, all the games. We've had uh, uh, PlayStation uh, 3 taken. Even their wedding rings have disappeared. You can go out and buy a ring, but it's not the same Sorry. ring. Fain says they even stole four of his guns, similar to this one. Well, they were passed down, so... I just, you just can't put value to, to sentimental things, to, in my opinion. They say police have been helpful, even taking fingerprints, but it's hard to track down the stolen items. They would like to see parents take some responsibility. They need to really, I think, uh, keep a closer eye on their, on their kids, in my opinion. Kate Slattery, ABC 36, your local news source. Lexington, please say that investigation is ongoing. That is your update. Have a great Thursday.